Hello viewers, welcome to Edweed. In our previous session, we have learned about some of the evidences which gives proof of evolution. In today's session, we will learn about evolution by stages and about artificial selection. So let's begin with our first topic that is evolution by stages. Now in the process of evolution, we have seen that complex organs are formed in the group of organisms, which gives them a survival advantage. So, if these complex organs are selected for their survival advantage, are they generated by a single DNA exchange? Think about it. Obviously not. They are not generated by a single exchange. In fact, they are selected bit by bit over generations. And it is a gradual process that takes millions of years to happen. Let us consider an example. We have heard about the flatworm planaria, now which can regenerate. Now this planaria has some eye-like structure at the top of their body. But these eyes are not like ours. They are simply eye spots that can detect the intensity of the light. And these rudimentary eyes are present in the earlier stages of development of the planaria. And it gives them a survival advantage. And we can see that from such a simple eye structure, complex eye structures have evolved in the course of time which gives organisms a survival advantage. And we can see that eyes are present in different group of organisms like human beings, amphibians, reptiles, birds, marine creatures, etc. So clearly we can say that eye is an example of evolution by stages. Now talking about the evolutionary changes. Now some evolutionary changes that have occurred in one group of organism can provide a completely different function in their successive stages. Let us understand how we have heard about feather. Now initially this feather was developed in the dinosaur, which is a reptile and it served the function of insulation in the cold weather. But with time these feathers got modified and in case of birds it completely served a different function that is flight. So we can see that feathers in case of dinosaurs served only one function. But in case of birds, it served two functions, that is insulation and flight. So is it possible if we say that in dinosaurs, the feathers got modified and it provided a complete different function in case of birds? Yes, we can say so. And so we can conclude that birds have evolved from dinosaurs, which is a reptile. Now in the previous session, we have learned about homologous organ and analogous organ, which is the evidence from the past. Now let us understand it through our current evidence. We all have heard about the wild cabbage plant. Now this wild cabbage plant has been cultivated over thousands of years and it produces different vegetables. And this is done by artificial selection and not natural selection. Let us see how. Now some farmers wanted small spaces between the leaves and this resulted in the production of cabbage, which we consume today as food while some farmers wanted a sterile flower and this resulted in the production of a cauliflower while some farmers wanted an arrested flower development and this resulted in the production of broccoli on the other hand some farmers went for the swollen parts of the wild cabbage plant and this resulted in the vegetable cold rabi and some farmers wanted large spaces between the leaves and this resulted in the formation of the vegetable kale which is a leafy vegetable so we can see that the wild cabbage plant is a common ancestor to all these vegetables that we consume today as food so in this session we have learned about the process of evolution which is a gradual one and takes millions of years to happen and we have also learned about artificial selection now talking about evolution i have said that there is a common structural pattern we have seen that complex organs are formed in the organism. But this must not be confused with the progress of the organism. We'll learn about this in details in our next session. Mm -hmm.